Hello. Let's talk about revolutions in amateur astronomy, amateur observing. Uh, first, I think, you know, telescopes, but one of the things that revolutionized uh, uh, observing for amateurs are go-to mounts. Um, it's nice having a machine do all the work for you. Um, I've had a telescope since I was eight years old and I saw more in my first night with a go-to scope, more objects than, than 30 years prior to that. Um, largely because if I couldn't see it, it wasn't bright enough to point my scope at, I didn't know where it was. My own fault for not learning. Learning was harder back then. Um, but go-to mounts are amazing. But they're expensive and the drawback is a lot of them you have to learn how to use this thing. And there's some you know characters here. It's hard to learn, okay? But not that hard, but it's it, there's a learning curve, okay? There's also there's also an expense to it. Um, and I don't like having to use buttons to push the scope around. I like to be more connected to the sky. So one way to be more connected is to have just a go-to mount that you put, I mean, excuse me, just a mount that you push around. Very easy, okay? Now, I like having help. And um, once I learned this guy, I didn't need the help, but there was times when I really liked the help. So how do you get help if you're pushing things around is you can put encoders on um, your, your, uh, your mount or buy some with encoders, but encoders are like $400. And I've had encoders for this mount 10 years. I don't know if I've used it more than once. Why? Because I have to have cables. I'm not quite sure where the cables are. And then you need a, a little way to connect it to the, uh, to, uh, to a computer, okay? Or in this case, this will connect to Sky Safari, my, uh, my phone, on my phone. Um, and that's probably, I think it was $400 for the encoders, and it was like $200 for this Nexus device to get it to my phone. Which segues into the second revolution. If GoTo mounts were one revolution, uh, Sky Safari or other phone apps are the next revolution. Um, and the beauty of these is, you know, you hold it up, and it'll tell you what you're looking at. So right over there is the California Nebula. Let's see. What's there? The Vega's that way. What's that bright thing? In the, oh, that's Venus. And below that, Saturn. And there, Jupiter. The moon. The moon I can find without it. But um, the phone apps. I've learned more from a phone app like Sky Safari uh, than I think everything else combined. You know, the books I've read, the magazines I've read. Uh, this is, if you don't have this, if you don't have a Sky Safari or an equivalent, and again, Sky Safari, the beginners use it, the experts use it. Um, it is, and it's, I think it's like $4.99 um, for the basic version and $20 for one that will run your telescope. If you don't have Sky Safari or, or one of the other apps that take full advantage of your phone, highly, highly recommend it. So go to, and you can, you know, work these with the go to scope. Um, you can work. Uh, you can find out where you're pointing through, again, encoders and um, a way to connect to a computer. So this is uh, Astro Devices Nexus. I've had a series of these. They're all really good. But the key is this is a great app, okay? Um, and that's how most of us learn. Everybody's got a phone with them, okay? And again, the reason I don't use this, where are the cables? i got to have batteries for this. i got to make sure. So it's kind of a hassle. Always have my phone with me all the time. And that brings us to the third revolution. I think the current revolution, curious what the fourth one is. Uh, but the next revolution, I think, is a $2 little mirror. See that mirror? Yeah, you see that mirror. Uh, that mirror doesn't cost more than a couple bucks. And what that allows you to do is skip the wires, skip the encoders, um, and hook up your phone to the mount, okay? So all this mirror does, in theory, uh, it points it at the sky, but it's really hard to do that. So basically that mirror allows you to put your phone flat, even with the telescope. Um, and so what Celestron does is they essentially sell that mirror and they sell an app, which is very similar to Sky Safari. It's completely, you know, similar to their other stuff, but it integrates with the uh, technology, which I'll talk about in a second. But this little thing 
that you mount, that you put on uh, the, essentially the mirror, the, the phone holder connected to the mount is the revolution. And let me tell you a little bit about the background on that. So Celestron has had for quite some time, they've had what's called a star sense. I'll figure out, it'll be, I'll, I'll write it down. But basically um, they've had a camera, a small camera that you can mount on your telescope and the, tele, the, the, um, the camera will take pictures of the sky, okay? And it, that camera, one, it's a camera, uh, so there's a price to that. It's also sold with a hand controller, and it depends on um, the hand controllers are either Celestron or Skywatcher or Orion, and I have both Celestron and Skywatcher. I would have to buy two separate systems um, because it's, it's, it is, goes through this, okay? It goes through a hand controller. So one, I think the Celestron's about $400, the Skywatcher's like $600. So that technology, the StarSense camera and the hand controller was great because aligning can be a real pain sometimes. It just, you know, it takes five minutes. If you drop a, if you lose your alignment, it takes another five minutes or 10 minutes. And it's just, you don't want to be doing that. It's a pain. So I bought the camera for my Celestron and it did all that stuff for you automatically. The technology is the camera takes a picture of the sky. And the great thing about the sky is it doesn't change, okay? It is, well, over tens of thousands of years, things drift. But for the most part, if you have a map of the sky and you take a picture, and you, that's a small, small part of the sky. So you figure out where that is. I got a picture I can match anywhere in the sky. And that's what the software is doing now. The, uh, it was taking a picture of the sky and just said, okay, wherever I'm pointing, I know exactly where I'm pointing. So instead of having to use gears to align on a star and another star and another star and then figure out where, where, the, uh, where you are on the earth and what time, right? It just says, I'm gonna take this little picture and just from that information alone, I can know exactly where I am. So um, that's the technology. So that little mirror says, hey, you know what? Instead of using a camera, that you have to mount a full-on camera that you mount on your mount or your telescope. We're going to use a mirror. We're going to use the camera and the phone. And your your phone, they're getting very good now. We'll do a, a 30 second exposure or, or as long as it needs. And it'll take a picture and it'll say, okay, there's enough technology in the phone now where it says, okay, I know exactly where you're pointing. So essentially everybody has their phone with them anyway. Most people who who want to learn the sky have an app. So they said, okay, you got your phone with you, you got an app on it, we're gonna have the phone connect with, with your mount. Um, and so that is the revolution because you don't have to worry about other batteries, you don't have to worry about cables, you don't have to worry about computers, you don't have to worry about hand controllers to learn, just follow the app, which is how we do everything, right? Um, and it's inexpensive. Now, what Celestron's doing now is they're not selling the $2 mirror in the app, they're selling the whole thing. The mirror is integrated into this mount. Um, and essentially, I did a review on these little telescopes. The, uh, these 102s, lovely little telescope. Okay, so the, again, standard mount, so I can mount things here. Okay, so Celestron sells a variety of models, but you can't buy the revolutionary uh, tech cheap tech without buying a telescope from them, which is okay. Um, so what, I think this was uh, the non, what's this called? Uh, StarSense version of this is about $200 uh, on sale. With it, it's 350 or something. Okay, so you're paying $150 for the $2 mirror and the app, which is okay. Um, what a lot of people are doing is they, and, and they are also selling it, I think the cheapest I've seen online is like $188 for a 80 millimeter, which is a, don't, don't, go no lower than the 102. They also have um, reflectors uh, all the way up to like a 10 inch daub. And essentially what it is, is it's just a different mount to match the telescope. And what a lot of people are doing, savvy, is they're buying the cheapest version they can, and then they're taking duct tape and they're taking this part and they're just, duct taping it to, they're not duct taping, a little more sophisticated than that, but you could duct tape it to whatever telescope you're using. Um, 
There is a code to use the application based on the, the telescope you bought, so you gotta buy a telescope. Uh, but they're duct taping it to everything, and the reality is, it is, it works, okay? It's easy, you're on your phone anyway. Um, and there's a lot of really good reviews. I bought this about, I bought it in June of last year and never got around to it, uh, to doing a, a review. And there's a lot of really good reviews and great detail on how to use it, some of the issues they're having. And you know, there's still, still new tech, so there's still some issues. And, uh, but the reality is, this is the current revolution. It is uh, easy to use. And really, that's the key. If you're new, easy is good. Easy is the most important thing. You don't have to worry, you know, you got enough stuff, you got a new telescope, you got stuff to carry, eyepieces and all that. You got your phone with you anyway, boom. It's, it's I don't wanna say it's foolproof, uh, but you know, easy is, is really the key. Easy and uh, I think fun and informative. This is the, this is the current revolution, so um, enjoy. This is really, 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 uh, I'm excited about it, really excited. So it's getting easier and easier. The problem is the skies are getting brighter and brighter. So anyway, but um, I need a catchphrase, don't I? Oh, I'll think about it. All right, bye.